the universe is the religion of the one world order. Now, the one world order is nothing more than the new world order or the old world order. So George Bush said, it's a big idea. What he's saying is the idea is a way to unite the world in one system. Well, how do you get the whole world in that system? They want to fix the problem of death. Well, how do you do that in a way that everybody agrees with it? Well, well, you got to get the Christians and the Jews and the Muslims to accept it. How are you going to get them to accept it? It's easy to get the heathens and the pagans to accept it. All you got to do is give them pleasure. There's rituals and rules. That's religion. So people that like rules go, hey, I'm not going to follow your rules if they're not good for me. You got people in democratic cities throwing their trash on the ground and saying, hey, we don't have to follow the rules because the government picks it up for us. And we know that Republicans pay the taxes and we want you to be our slaves. The Republicans are like, hey, we don't want to be your slaves. And if you don't follow the rules, um, we're not going to live with you. We're, we're, we're going to live apart from you. We're going to go live in suburbia. We're going to build fences around our houses. How do you get those people to follow the one world order? The one world order is saying, hey, you're all my slaves. That's what the old world order was. It was nothing more than a, a monarchy that enslaved the whole world. And how do you do it? Plato was one of the first people to teach that the earth is in the skies. It's like the heavens, of the heavens. And what did he believe in? slavery. He said, you need a cattle class and you got to build pyramids and you got to put people at the bottom of the pyramid. So we have a worth system so we can manipulate value. And if your spirit wants that, if your spirit wants to feel better than other people, you want to turn life into a game so you can just feel spiritually better. You need a system for it. And the universe is that system. You tap into the universe, your God, your religion, Jesus lives in the universe. Jesus is the only God in heaven. That's what the Christians are saying. Now that's the teaching of the antichrist. They're using the universe as a religion to unite everybody in the one world order. People think when they order a pizza, it comes in 30 minutes or less because of the power of the universe, because the satellite is beaming to their phone. And you can tell people it's all ground transmission. Now they hide that and that's hard to find. And they censor that because they don't want people to know that it's not coming from the power of the heavens. It's not but they want you hooked up to a system so they can control you. It's just a form of evolution, but they want a world where everybody joins their world. And how do we get the whole world to do it? Even Alex Jones, who will tell you about the new world order, but he won't tell you about the one world order. Because what's the one world order? It's the universe. And Alex Jones believes he lives on a space rock floating and hurling through outer space. Because he likes the energy of the universe. Then we watch his show and he teaches us about the New World Order. Well, he does a great job. Okay, I like Alex Jones. He teaches us about the Old World Order. Okay, that's great. But he's a part of the One World Order. And it lives in the universe. And it's fake. And again, flat earth is not just physically flat. It's emotionally flat and spiritually flat. And that's why they can't understand that water's flat. It's level. There's no curve. It's because of the universe. If you can't handle that the horizon's a horizontal line, you think it's refracted from a ball, it's because you want it to be in the universe. If you can't handle that the salt flats proof flat earth and we don't have to do the refraction argument, it's because you want the earth to be in the universe. Because you don't want to worship a God. And there's a bunch of kids that were like, I don't like the God stuff, but... This government God's terrible, and I'll take this one over that one, and, and this one's flat. It's spiritually flat. It's emotionally flat, and yeah, it's physically flat, and it's absolutely beautiful, and it's God's earth, but I'll gladly meet you at flat earth.